What's up you guys, Sharmus Prime here with my first day of my uh, one week random review bonanza and I'm going to review the comic uh, Empowered. Um, now this does look like it's, a, like it's a manga or an anime type of book, but it's really not. Um, it's written by Adam Warren and um, Adam Warren's done a lot of stuff and I really think he's one of the best contemporary writers out there and very, very underrated. Um, he's got a kind of a quirky way of writing. Um, those of you who, who read his stuff know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I can see that he does churn off, um, you know, he, he may churn off some people cause it is kind of like, um, fuck. It's kind of like smart reading. It, it has, and I feel like such a douchebag saying it like that, but it's kind of a little challenging sometimes because the guy writes, um, like complicated sentences and um and he'll go off these crazy tangents um just for the sake of doing it just because he's an amazing um you know he's he's just really good at um at putting a bunch of crazy words together so he's a huge like grammar freak or you know english freak you know but um, he also draws all this stuff. Now, this thing got started based off of... Um, so he is the artist for this book, and it is all in black and white, okay? Um, and this is number one right here. Um, and it basically started off of um, a commission request for him uh, to draw a bondage uh, chick. Basically, a chick just bondage, like a superhero chick that... Um, that was just tied up and, and being abused and whatnot. So he did that shit, because he draws women very sexy. Um, and I guess, like, from there he got inspired to do this comic, where basically it's full of a bunch of short issues of her in different situations. Now, she has this costume right here that actually gets, um, where she kind of ha gets her... And it's kind of an invulnerability, not really, but basically... This is where she gets her superpower, and it gets torn up hell of fucking easily. And thus, she's um, a damsel in distress. So it's basically she's kind of like a very emo type of chick, always you know getting. And it's just basically you know it's if you could see that picture right there. There she is with her big booty. She's all self conscious about her big butt and stuff, and um, and she's constantly getting tied up and everything. You can see right here she's already you know, getting her ass beat, she's like the worst, and then here we go again, see, she's all tied up with this shit, and, and she's got the ball in her mouth thing going on, <laughs> I actually got to meet this guy at the Comic Con, and I was very excited, and my friend Rudine turned me on to this thing, and it's just a great read, and to Adam Warren in general, actually, so i had been reading, this came out in, um, not that long ago, it's pretty recent, Let's see if I could find a copyright date on it. I, I want to say like 2006, 2007, something like that. Let's see, 2007, yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, now it may seem like, you know, okay, so it's a bunch of short stories of a girl just getting tied up, but actually there is character development that slowly happens. And um, as <clears throat> people were buying this more and more, uh, you know, he's he's been developing the character and the powers, uh, of the suit, you know, have been developing too, like, she, it, she can climb walls now, as it's developed, it's on book five right now, so, and then there's other sexy characters that show up, oh, see, look right there, she's naked, so it's, you know, but it's more than just, you know, and her butt's showing like that, it's more than just, you know, like, I don't whack off to this shit, it's, you know, it's cool to get turned on by the, the comic character, but, um, you know, it's, oh god, yeah, this is a lot of, uh, this is a funny thing where she has her boyfriend, Thug Boy, and they're, you know, kind of getting into it, and they have this role-playing thing going on, and, you know, the kind of sexual, euphem you know, uh, what, euphemisms or whatever, you know what I mean, like, says Spartan 3000, and he's got this long draping thing, <laughs> he's got Monster Dong, so, I thought that shit was pretty funny, and, you know, she's, you know, and then her friend in Jet right here, and it's, she's very, very, very uh, sexy character, but she has very small boobs, and she's always self-conscious about her small, you know, her lacking titties and shit, and it's just, it, you know, it gets very sexual right here, you know, and I just really like the guy's artwork. Now, I'm basically doing, starting this week off with this kind of review, because, you know, I was inspired to do my one-week review, uh, Bonanza, uh, based off of um, 
I got inspired from Gay Comic Geek's um, 2,000 subscribers video uh, where he's talking about how he talks about all kinds of different stuff that he's into and how he's been able to capture uh, everyone's attention even though that not everyone's, you know, all about all the different things that he talks about. You know what I mean? Um, so I figured, you know, this is kind of me giving a shot. So he said do comic reviews. So that's why I'm kind of fulfilling his request just because I was inspired by him. Uh, here's book number two. So you can see Ninjet right there. She does have a very nice ass. And again, tattered up. That's her boyfriend. Um, there's this... Now, there's this... Um, this... Uh, what's it called? I forgot the name of the damn thing. And these funny characters right here. Like this brickhead character. He's got, like... These goofy-ass supervillains are just kind of funny. Just the writing is, is hilarious. And I kind of want to read you guys just... Um, oh, see... This is cool. A little cat suit. So, it's very boner inspiring, but um, very smart reading at the same time. He has his, um, you know, in book five, I have, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you what all the books look like really quick, the covers to all of them. So, that's book two. Here's book three. That's not a very interesting cover. Book four. Oh, she gets the award. And here's book five. So, later in book four and five, she really starts to come through as a little bit stronger type of character. But, um, okay, here you go. This, um, this evil, um, what's it called, like, belt thingy, he, he goes on these rants, and it's just kind of, um, I, I don't know, I'm just really impressed by the writing. Like, here's one, like, this whole page is just this thing. It's like, to that beloved, though often pungent ensemble, would you add a blanket as in ersatz cape then with distressing frequency would you clamber to the top of a staircase and cry gaze upon me he whose seed did surely germinate me then keening with utter glee would you leap down the staircase completely certain that you could fly in fact fly that that you could in fact fly damn it i can't read and none could convince you otherwise no matter how oft repeated was this direly deluded act um you know, it's that kind of reading, I, I don't know. Like, for instance, I don't know what, um, what were the ersatz? I didn't even know that word existed, man, you know? I, I ain't a dumbass, dude. I've gone to college, and all you kids, go to fucking college, all right? But, um, you know, I, I ain't seen that word before. So it's good, you know, challenge sometimes, I think. And this is basically Ninjet chilling by herself, kind of being depressed, getting kind of drunk by herself, talking to this stupid belt thing. So she lives with Empowered and Thug Boy, her boyfriend. So she's kind of been having erotic fantasies about Thug Boy and everything a little bit here. So it's kind of neat, you know. So it's a really fun read, you guys. I recommend you pick it up, um, Empowered. And uh, I wish I had my the picture of my Empowered uh, ass, because when I got to meet Adam Warren, I asked him, like, Oh, can you draw me an Emp's ass? He's like, oh, are you serious? I'm like, uh, dude, like, I thought you were a wicked pervo like me, like, drawing all this fucking shit, you know? Oh, yeah, this character, I forgot her name. But, yeah, he drew it for me, so I don't have it with me right now. It's still in Rodine's art book, but that's pretty cool. It's a very fun read, man. <laughs> and there's a lot of cool action and stuff you can see right here, you know? And then there's this league of superheroes that she's always trying to be a part of and everything, but she's always failing, you know, always becoming the victim. Oh, this anglerfish character is great, the way they did this. Like, you can't... <laughs> How is it? Oh, yeah. She's, like, there's this bright light, you know? She's like, Daddy? <laughs> I always knew you'd grow up to be a great superhero. I'm so d I'm so proud of you, Emp. She's like, but really, Daddy? Uh, I'm not... A disappointment to you, really? Um, Daddy, what? Why are my wrists being taped behind my back? And then it's like she slowly figures out that it's this anglerfish character. So I thought that was kind of funny. And he's driving a truck now or a van. This anglerfish villain. I don't know. I just think it's creative and funny. So there you go, you guys. And boner inspiring at the same time. So smart, funny, original, and boner inspiring. I think it's a great read empowered pick it up and the trades are pretty cheap too man they're 15 bucks you know that's a little on the cheaper side for most of the trades and they're dense they go by you know that they're not super quick reads so definitely worth your money just it's not in color but you don't really miss it so much all right that's my review catch you guys later peace